Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel Microbiology Easy Notes. If you like this channel, please like, subscribe and comment. Now we are going to start lecture series of bacterial cell structure. In this lecture series, we are going to cover different parts of the bacterial cell, which are outermost layer, cell wall, plasma membrane, cytoplasm, mesosome, ribosome, nucleoid, plasmid, inclusion bodies, fragella, phyllae, and fimbri. So in this tutorial, we are going to cover first part of bacterial cell, that is outermost layer or glycocalyx layer. Many bacterial cells, not all, secrete extracellular material which is mucilaginous or sticky in nature. This material forms outermost layer of bacteria. This layer is mainly made up of polysaccharides called glycocalyx. This is called glycocalyx layer. It may be present or absent in bacteria, so it is not really essential for survival of the cell. Beside polysaccharides, other components can present in glycocalyx layer which can be a glycoproteins, which are combination of carbohydrates and proteins. It can be glycolipids, which are combination of carbohydrates and lipids. Depending on the nature, glycocalyx layer gives two variations to the bacterial cell. One is capsule and another is slime layer. When glycocalyx layer surrounds bacterial cell in diffused, unorganized or loose manner, it is called slime layer. Thickness of slime layer is inconsistent and it does not provide a definite shape to the cell. It is composed of exopolysaccharides, glycoproteins and glycolipids. It hangs around outside the cell and by certain methods it can be easily removed from bacterial cell. And now capsule. It is tightly packed extracellular material which is firmly attached outside to the cell wall. It is regular and well organized structure present outside the cell. It cannot be washed off easily. It is mainly made up of different types of polysaccharides. In enterobacter aerogens, it is made up of complex polysaccharides like glucose, fructose and glucuronic acid. In streptococcus pyogens, it is made up of hyaluronic acid and acetylglucosamine and glucuronic acid. In bacillus anthracis, it is made up of polypeptides instead of polysaccharides. The type of polypeptide is D-glutamic acid. Capsule can be seen under light microscope when stained with spatial method like India ink method and Walsh method. Serological method like Kaling's reaction also helpful to observe capsule under light microscope. Capsule mainly present in gram-negative bacteria but can also seen in gram-positive bacteria. Function of glycocalyx layer It helps to adhere to the surface. It traps nutrients in case of scarcity of food. It provides nutrition to the bacterial cell. It helps in bacterial cell aggregation and formation of biofilm. For example, Streptococcus mutans, which causes dental caries, splits the sucrose in food and uses one of the sugars to build its capsule, which sticks tightly to the tooth. The bacteria that are trapped in the capsule use the other sugar to fuel their metabolism and produce a strong acid like lactic acid that attacks the tooth enamel. That is how streptococcus mutants form yellow color biofilm on the tooth surface. A few rod-shaped bacteria such as Swarotillus aggregate on iron items and forms biofilm cause rusting. Glycocalyx layer provide elasticity to the cell and protect from external shock. It protects cell from desiccation and antibiotics. Slime layer protects cell from immune system attack as it can absorb antibodies. Capsule prevents cell from phagocytosis. Capsule makes bacterial surface so smooth and slippery that phagocytic cell cannot engulf bacterial cell. Surface layer Other variation of pericellular matrix also exists which is called surface layer. S layer is present in all archibacteria and some other bacteria. It is highly organized layer made up of secreted proteins or glycoproteins that self-assemble into a matrix on the outer part of the cell wall. Function of surface layer 
Surface layer act as barrier against high molecular waste substances like lytic enzymes. It protects against bacteriophages and phagocytosis. It helps in adhesion and provides adhesion sites for exoproteins. Surface layer provides resistance against low pH and electromagnetic stress. It provides stabilization to the membrane. So this was all about glycocalyx layer. Thank you for watching.